Tuesday morning, we were in here for free service or for staff prayer, and I was standing right here at the altar. And all of a sudden, in the middle of worship, I heard this voice that said, They don't want you here, and nobody would know if you were gone. And I remembered the voice, it was, it was uh, familiar. Because when I was in middle school, I struggled with suicidal thoughts. Most of my middle school years struggled with that, but God set me free. It's part of my testimony. It's a part of why I can sing this song and kind of lose my mind a little bit. Y'all think I'm up here just cheesing for no reason? It's because I have a testimony. It's because I have a story. It's because I remember the goodness of God and what he's taken me from and that I could have lost my life. But Jesus, and this morning, he reminded me of that moment on Tuesday night, or on Tuesday morning, because what happened was when I heard the voice, like I said, it was familiar. And I said, God, what is that voice? What is that? And I heard him say, it's not yours. I said, well, why are you letting me hear right now? And he said, it's for Sunday. There's going to be people in the room that they've been hearing that voice. Some of which have already been set free. Some of which have already been saved. They've already been delivered from that lying spirit. But I heard the Lord say that he wants to set people free again this morning. And whether it's your first time ever in this season struggling with that, or whether you've conquered it through Jesus before and it's coming up again, knocking at your door again, I want to let you know that his blood is enough this morning. The cross is enough this morning. That you don't have to live in that place this morning. The world would say it's just illness. It's, they have all these different words and phrases for it. But what I know is that in my life, there's no spirit that's welcome but the Holy Spirit. And I want to declare that over you today, that there's no spirit welcome in your life but the Holy Spirit. That any lying, accusing voices, any lying, accusing spirits, anything that would come against the life that Jesus paid for in your body. It says that Jesus came that he would bring life and life more abundantly. That's your promise through the blood. That's your promise through the cross. And so I said, well, God, what do you want to do about it this morning? Why are you showing it to me this morning? And he told me that the remedy today is to remember, to remember what he's done, to remember his goodness, to start to think about the way that he saved you, to start to think about again the way that he raised you, to think about again the way that he healed you, set you free, pulled you up out of the miry clay, that the remedy is to remember his goodness this morning. 